Hey man, what's happening? It's your boy the Red Sean, and right now you tune in with Dirty Glove Bouncers off the porch. Graduated, I ain't go to Yale. Got a sack invested in some bills. A couple bad to make it in the mill. Yeah, had to Thanks for joining us today, Derez. Uh, you got your new album, Pain Two, dropping here in just a couple hours. How yes, you sir. Today? I'm feeling good, blessed, excited. Yeah. I'm ready to see what the night look like. Yeah. Do you get nervous or anxious before uh, you release new music? Um, I don't say I get nervous, but I get anxious because I'm ready to get to work, ready yeah. to keep it moving, get everybody out back up. Yeah. And this is uh, your first new project since Pain. Right. Which came out last year and then uh -huh. you released it in April. Yep, yep. So uh, a lot has happened in those last 14 months. Yes. You know, Hardaway went platinum. Yeah. Fed up went gold. Mm-hmm. How has your life changed this year? Um, for the most part, it changed for the better. Being able to do more for my family, being able to be an influence to people who look up to me who I never knew looked up to me. Yeah. Um, being able to, you know, just believe in myself more knowing the accolades that I achieved and the success I gained. I know I'm doing something right, so life change for confidence or uh, belief, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Would you say this has uh, been the best year of your life? Of course. Yeah. The best. Yeah. Yeah. How's it feel now to be able to like take care of your family and not have to worry about those daily struggles that you used to have? And it feel great, you know what I'm saying? Knowing when your son look up to you and know I want to be like my daddy because I'm handling business. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It feel great. Knowing my daughter can depend on daddy. Like, mm -hmm. So it, it feel great. I can't even lie. Yeah. And I saw in a recent interview, um, you said that you really never believed that all of this success was attainable. Right. You kind of even second guess your success. Right, right. Do you still feel that way? I mean, of course, sometimes I do because, it's like, no matter what level of success I reach, mm -hmm. I still want to go further. I still want to do more. I still want to achieve more. I want to get to the next level. So I'm never satisfied with yeah. whatever success I get because I know it's more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So you feel like you haven't reached your peak yet? No. I don't think I'll ever reach my peak. Gotcha. And uh, when you were putting together this album, did you feel any pressure to try and uh, repeat the success of the last one? Um... No pressure. I just felt like I can't put out no bullshit, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's the reason why it took a little longer than usual. Like, I don't want to just put out anything. I ain't rushing. I'm not trying to keep up. I'm not trying to, you know what I'm saying, compete with nobody. I know what my music going to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what is your mindset going into this album? Um, It's the same. Just deliver yeah. real. Just give you the real. Just give you my point of view. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, the album was originally titled uh, Beat the Odds, mm -hmm. but it was recently changed to Pain 2. Why I mean, switch? it's Pain 2, but Beat the Odds, you know okay, what I'm so saying? Okay, so that's like a subtitle. Yeah, it's like a subtitle, yeah. Okay. And you felt like your fans would more, maybe be more attached to it. Yeah, they can understand. Long, yeah. Well, Pain 2, of course, I know they're going to rock with, but Beat the Odds is like a little motivation, a little line, yeah. just to... You know what I mean? This is where we at now. We yeah. being the odds, baby. Let's get it. Yeah, so you give them a little bit of both on there. Yeah, both worlds. Ups and downs. Yeah. And uh, do you have a personal favorite track on the uh, album? Um, Right now, you know, I recorded so much music. <laughs> but looking at what we got for the album, yeah. right now I think my outro is like my hardest. The outro? Most felt song, yeah. yeah. Well, one on. What's that song called? Lately. I got Lately, I got... Lately. Dark places mean a lot to me. Um, ball together, like it's, it's really the whole thing, man. Yeah. But right now, lately, yeah. it's like what the are you one talking I'm, about on lately. Uh, just talking about what's going on right now. Like I'm talking about currently. Like yeah. I just recorded this song like two weeks ago. Oh, okay. So I had to put it. I'm like, hey, bro, I got to put this on there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah, so lately. That's the last track on there. Yeah, it's nah, it's album, really it's it just roll out. It roll out the album. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So lately, it's just talking about what's going on lately. What I'm trying to do: separate myself from people who not trying to succeed. Yeah. Um, trying to make it out the hood. You know, so many people dying. I'm just trying to do what I got to do to get my folks up out of there before everybody gone. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to. It's meditation. Lately, it's like my mind where I can just, oh, let me get this off my chair. Yeah. Yeah. Who produced that one? London. London on track. Yeah, London on the track. Who are some other producers you got on there? Uh, we got London on the track, YB, Willowful, Stupid Beats, Taz. Yeah. Um, uh, who else we got? Um, We 
we got Cassie. Yeah, Cassie's yeah. Um, we got uh stupid uh stupid on I mean not stupid, uh so it's a new well he ain't new but the same he, he made the beats for uh Y B to um on me. Oh, okay. Yeah, I forgot his name. Damn, my bad, but I, <laughs> yeah, but he fought though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We got you. Now, what are your expectations for this new album, and how does that compare for your expectations to Pain One when you released it? Um, I never really took the time to think about the expectation, but in my mind, you know, I expected to do just as well. I expected to be heartfelt. I expect the world to rock again. I expect to. Stay on the same wave, you know what I'm saying? I expect on this one, I'll probably get more records to go, you know, talk more hundred though. On this one, mm. it's bigger music, you know what I'm saying? Of course, it's still pain involved, but it's it's on a you know, the production different, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's more, it's bigger, like it's yeah. world, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And what were your expectations, expectations when you dropped Pain One? Did you really think it was going to take you to the next level? No, nah, I never did. I just wanted the world to accept me. That's yeah. it. If, if you fuck with it and it worked, then I'm cool. But if not, then it is what it is. I did my shit. Yeah. yeah. So that was originally a mixtape with uh, DJ Drum. Yeah, it was. Yep, yep. Yeah. Me and Drum linked up from the uh, previous tape we did, me and before dinner time. Yeah. Yep. At that time, Hardaway was kind of just starting to take off, too. Yeah, just in the street. Like, yeah. it wasn't even really... We ain't know what to do with it. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We just worked it. Yeah. And with this new album, you really took your time with it. Yeah. You know, I think you had the first original release date, I think, around August or something. Yeah, it was supposed to be. Yeah. So, um, have you just been adding new songs to yeah, it? Yeah, adding new songs. The more, I, the more I work, the more I want to... Yeah. Alter this and change that and oh this beat sound a little too old and yeah. you know what I'm saying because I I recorded over a hundred songs for this mm -hmm. album hmm. yeah over a yeah. hundred yeah and normally you would release the majority of those songs like right mixtapes right like right yeah. right I would normally do that but this time I just was like hold on let me focus on this we'll get to all this other shit later yeah so yeah. what do you do with those other songs just kind of just sit there and. For the for the most part, yeah. now they just sitting in the vault right now. Just yeah. shit, we gonna figure something out to do with them. I got you. I got you. Yeah.